So how do we create users and administrators? Remember, we're not talking about end users and implementation users here within the application side of the fence. We're talking about the cloud account and dealing with people who are administering the cloud services, who have access to status on cloud services, and maybe getting notifications about upcoming events relating to your cloud services. Let's see how these users are maintained in the cloud console. Well, here we are. I've logged into cloud.oracle.com and I need to get into the console. So I'll click on applications. And now I'm in the Oracle Cloud console. I can click on the navigator, these three parallel lines here, to get into the menu system. And from here, select users. And I'm going to specify some individual users to start. We see some additional users that are already in this system. I'm going to add a user and we'll specify one here. And we'll provide an email address, which is required. We can use their email as their username, although not necessarily best practice, but we'll do that and provide some other information if we wish. And then we can get into the service access by clicking the next. And this is where we get to add roles to this particular user. So we've created the user. Now we can add some user roles and select the roles that we want this user to have, or we can click in the various accounts here and specify roles that way. When we're done, we can click on finish. Note that if you want to just create a plain old basic contact, someone who will get notifications about the cloud uh, operations but not have access to anything other than getting basic notifications, then you don't need to make any selections here. You can just click finish. If you assign someone, say, a cloud account administrator role, and you realize that was a mistake, you can always click on reset. When you've finished, click on finish. And now if we do a search, we get confirmation that this person was created. Let's do a search. And we can see that they are sitting here and able to access the system per the permissions that we have provided them. And that takes us to the end of this job aid on how to create users and administrators.